Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 17. We're still in Goldcrest Valley, and I think we're going to try to finish up our, our little mowing venture over here this time. Got the, uh, the, the uh, bale collector on, the, the bale wagon, or whatever you want to call it. And let's gather up the hay first. Let's go take care of that. It seems like we had one grass bale that rolled off into the uh, into the pile of hay bales down there. Now uh, let's see, X? No, B. Yeah. So, hay. That looks like hay. Grab that one. And let's see if we can track down what is definitely a grass one. Now that one's in the shadow. It's darker, but it may be because it's shaded. Let's come at it from this side. Yeah, I'm thinking that is grass. So these two are hay, and the one over there in the corner maybe. There were six total. I gotta wait for this guy to move forward, and that comes back. Now it's ready. Kind of fun to watch the animations. That does look like hay. Oops. Oh well. So that pushes back. And just gravity holds it in place, apparently. I don't see anything keeping it from slipping further back. Otherwise, um, let's pop this guy back up. And race over to the other end and grab the other two. Then what are we going to do with these? I'm guessing they should probably be over there with the sheet. Find some place to just set those aside for now. Should be these two. I'm trying to remember if there was room in there. I know we have three grass bales in there. We may as well get those out before we dump these in. Yeah, let's do that. Let's pop out of here. Do we have the bale spike here? We do. I haven't driven this one in quite a while. Was it a bale spike or was it a pallet fork? That's bales. Okay. So pop over there. Do that. So I remember how to drive this. I remember it turned on a dime. Why these sheep have already made a mess over here? <laughs> oh, we have four of them. And they are grass, right? Don't know. Let's go spear one and find out. It should tell us. I can line myself up in there. Let's grab two at a time, maybe. Alright, so that is hold down the left mouse button. And wiggle around till you figure out what it does. Something like that. Can I spear both? That seems to be in line with two of them. Yep. 8,000 of hay. That already is hay. Okay, there's no point moving them then. Let's lift up enough to put them right back where we found them. Okay, so that drops down. Now is my angle... It's kind of good enough. Come on, don't fall over. Something like that. Okay, well that's hay. So... You'd think we'd want to stack the other ones on top of those, huh? Kind of counterproductive to have them put it into the bale collector. <laughs> um... Well, let's... Let's set this guy kind of like that. I'll just set that down right there. Let's see what this will do. Worried about the height, whether or not I can get this actually into there or not. Um, 
Let's do that. See how the height looks. It's only a stack of six, but it's on this trailer. So, I did scare you away. Sorry about that. Now they're all even now. It's like my cats when I uh, get the vacuum cleaner out. They are gone. So, the bales themselves are not too tall, but the machine the bales are attached to are. So, the best I can do is just kind of set it right at the entrance. Tell you what, let's... Well, hmm... Uh, actually, I need to turn it this way. New. No. Right to there. What I don't want is for the bales to uh, get away from me and go rolling down into the water. Alright, so what am I trying to do here? I'm trying to angle it into the middle. If I do this, it does what? Okay, that's good there. And right here, can I unwind this? Not really, but I can get far enough in and pull forward and unwind it. Okay. Yeah, a little more. About like that. Now can I... Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. At least as far as it'll let me. I think I'm, I'm about there. So Y again will release it. And I'm probably just going to have to knock him over. And then go ahead and use the... Uh, the bell spike and put them away. Okay, white. And let's just leave that there. Well, that probably won't continue to... Oh, it will. Gravity will do it. Will this pick up on its own? No. I was going to say that should require power. But let's spear these guys and set them in place rather than leave a stack at the entrance. Uh, lift up that one. Problem is I can't spear them from this side and get them in that orientation. So about the best that I can do, let's see, if I use the other mouse button, there it goes. What if I just kind of curved into there and knocked them over? Of course, I speared half of them. All right, something like that. Now let's pick them up and put them in place. So this one, I gotta get in here a lot closer to see what I'm doing. There, back up. There. Okay. So let's work our way out, see if we can get a little bit straighter. Alright, that back wheel is going to clear. Okay. Now, can I get into there? I can. A little further. Right there. Got him. No, I'm too high. There we go. A little further. Right there. Snag that one. And let's snag this one. Am I too high? A little too high there. Let's do that again. There. Okay, so I'm thinking we can lift these two up or not. Okay, let's try. Whoa, that's the wrong pedal. Like that. There. That'll do what I want. Now, we can drive as far as touching the other bales. Like so. Kind of straighten out. And then what's really nice about these telehandlers, if I get my height down, is I should be able to just push it in. Of course, nothing's quite lined up right. It's still going to be a mess when it gets there. Yeah, and I am hitting that one. Okay, back up. And bring you in. Go down. Let's let go of these and just get one at a time. So angle is about like that. That'll do. Okay, so let's just go for, for one first. Alright. Quite a mess here. But messes are fun. Alright, there's my angle. That's my height. Let's ram that into there. Back down. That's as far as I can go, so that's my limit. 
So I'm going to push these guys a little bit with the front wheels. Uh, 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 no. There, but I've got a post over here. Boy. Okay, then I guess I'm going for this slot over here. Yeah, a little higher. Is there room for me? There's not. I'm at the end. Okay, we got a mess. And I'm in danger of running out of, of, an, of time to finish the episode and do all that I want. So we'll make this a project. Boy, which, what am I trying to do here? Right there? We'll make this a project for another time. Right there. And will you release? You will. Okay, we'll clean up this mess later. For now, let's bring this guy in. This guy up. Clear that post. There we go. And put him away. I will uh, repair my destroyed reputation some other day. <laughs> right there. But we've got other things to do. It's under cover. That's going to have to be good enough for now. Let's go this way. So we're looking for... What are we looking for? We don't necessarily want to pick up grass bales. Probably should uh, silage or wrap them. Of course, I could bring them all to that end a lot faster. Let's do that. Let's grab everything from over here at least. We'll dump them off over there. I did do one too many. Oh well. <laughs> okay, let's dump these guys out over here where everything can be uh, kind of together. And we'll go ahead and wrap them. Let me get this guy. Um. I guess not put away. So we'll use them to uh, kind of package them all back up again. Um, but we'll just leave them here. Grab this tractor. All right, looking for this guy right here in the middle. What did it take? X? Yep. And that's it. Now, what happens if I grab the one right out from underneath it? <laughs> it nothing happened. Okay. Didn't catch the right hitbox, apparently. Try that again. Right there. Yep, that, that spread them out. Boy, that spread them out. Okay, so we'll bring it out over here and leave them in a nice little line. Actually, I could just pick them up one at a time and drop them right behind. Something like that. Now, is it Y like all the rest of them? It is. Right there. Everything resets, grabs the next one. 
Now, what to do with these? We already have a pile of them over there at the cattle. They're not used for anything else as far as uh, uh, the animals go, so really it's just something to sell. Could hang on to them as a reminder for what uh, silage sells for in this form, and we can compare them to, uh, to the, the loose silage that we'll get over at the biogas plant. Alright, let's grab one more of these. Which one are you going to snag? Not going to snag any. Yeah, you're kind of picky. Okay. I need to be... My tractor needs to be where they are, so they're all on the way. So let's snag this guy. Then I need to grab these from this direction next time. Ah, almost lost one over there to the lake. Let's go get him. There's a good view. This takes a while, so I'll let you guys have a good view of the area. Still think this reminds me of Colorado. Okay, why? Now we're actually not quite in line. Are we gonna snag that? I'm not going to. Now if I were to well, I could do it that way. Still not going to. And we'll bounce that aside. Ah, got it. Okay. So as you can see, this process does take quite a bit of time versus what actually gets done. So, unless this is a, a way of doing it that uh, pays much better, it's, it's much easier and faster just to haul all the grass over to a silage pit. You get basically the same product, but you know, in, a, in bulk form. So I do want to compare sale prices once we get one silage pit fermented and able to, to uh, sell a bucket full. We get a bucket that's, uh, you know, got a an easy enough percentage of four thousand, you know, to compare to, and see uh, see what we come up with. Now I'm going to have to flip around here. I can't hit him from that angle and have it work out. There we go. Now let's get him over here. <clears throat> now the way this flips them out of the uh, the the wrapper there, it always puts them on end so they can't roll away, which is really nice. Do we want to keep one as a grass bale for any reason? Can't think of a reason. But we're gonna end up with one extra bale here, more than can fit into the bale collector. So so I'm trying to debate what to do with that guy. I'll just have to grab the. Uh, the Manitou over there and uh, haul him off. Otherwise, where to store these? Tell you what, we'll leave the one in the trailer. Yeah, that'll be fine. And probably just bring the trailer back. Well, we'll park it for now. So we won't, uh, won't fold this thing up. Of course, he's offset, so it's going to be really interesting backing up. Yeah. No. Yeah, 
you go that way. Up, up, up. Okay, get in there. There we go. Something like that. That gets it out of the way. And he stayed. Good. Alright, so let's... Um, let's just park this guy over here. I want to use the other tractor for the loading wagon. But let's get these guys cleaned up. And what? Let's go sell them. We could use the uh, the income right now. Now this is meant to pick up bales that are on their sides, but it's just going to have to going to have to do. <clears throat> what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I could have swore we had an extra. Am I losing it? Or did I actually lose it? It's down here in the water. I thought there were nine. <laughs> Can I look under? I cannot. I thought there was one too many for the trailer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight over there on the wrapper. There is no ninth. Okay, I'm going to have to go back and rewatch the, uh, the video on an edit because I could have swore I did one too many grass bales. That's odd. I'm going to leave that one there anyway, just to make sure that I don't have to wonder later how much one of these guys would sell for. So we'll sell just the uh, just these guys. Now let me think about something here. Let's see. B to fold him up, and where can we sell this otherwise? <clears throat> Let's see if I can find... I think it's this one. What looks like a steaming pile of poo, I'm pretty sure, is silage. Though, what is this? I mean, that's grass, and that's hay. That's chaff. So it's either this one, or this one. I'm not sure which is which. This is only $38. Okay, what else could this be? Oh, it could be manure. That could actually be a steaming pile of poo. Okay, let's um, let's see if we can figure it out this way. One of these gave me all of the symbols. Let's go backwards. Miscellaneous icons. Map symbols? It's not a map, though. What is two? You can sell your grass here. So it's using that as grass. In this case, okay, I don't want map symbols. Icons. There we go. Not you guys. And not you guys. Hmm. Alright, how else do we figure this out? Prices. New. No. Chaff and straw, silage and TMR. There. That's silage. Okay. Then what is manure? There's manure. Get, got our answer. So the reason I'm asking this is because I want to know who sells this symbol. McLean's biogas plant. That's the loose. And you, I, well, maybe there's a place you can drive up to it. But I don't remember seeing that before. But that is the only place besides our barn. I'm pretty sure at the gas plant, biogas plant, it's only the, uh, the little hopper that you can use your uh, front loader to dump it in. I don't think there is a place to unload and just dump bales. So I'm pretty sure our farm is the only place we're going to be able to sell these. 
I might be wrong, but this one is a certainty, so let's do this. And then we'll... Now we'll maybe drop the trailer off there and come back and then finish this episode cleaning up all the rest of this grass and hauling it all out to the silage pit. Lights on here. Where are we? 20 minutes to 7? This will probably be the last episode of this game day. We let it roll forward and start first thing in the morning next time. That's a little bit of weight on this thing. Well, they are 4,000 liters each. Just having trouble hauling or climbing the hill here. There's the barns. We're going to head down this side. No, uh, nothing growing over there in that field. That'll be our indicator that we've shifted to the next stage. We're going this way. <clears throat> Let's head down into here and back up. I think it will distinguish the price of each one. It was something like fourteen hundred, right? Fourteen seventy. Okay. Much better than a straw bale or a hay bale. Well, a straw bale. I don't remember what a hay bale caught or sold for. We should probably grab one in one of these times and uh, compare. Straw was three hundred and something. Uh, we're leaving this over here, that's right. Just because there's room over here to put it under a roof. It'll be used over there more often, but I'm running out of shed space over there. And we'll go ahead and get into the habit of getting two vehicles in per bay. Like that. Okay. Let's get the rest of that grass loaded up into the loading wagon. Loading wagon? Forager wagon? What was that one called? Uh, no. Loading wagon. Okay. That's what I was thinking of. So foraging has to do with the uh, forage has to do with the, the chaff, creating chaff. Okay. Either way, let's get over there. Now we've got just about the smallest one that there is, so it's going to take quite a few trips. Later when we're, when we're rich, <laughs> I don't think that's ever going to be. Then we'll be able to uh, pick up a, a bigger one next size up is probably the one that I'm used to using. And when you've got some more serious cash flow, then it's not that difficult to have one loaded up with straw and one loaded up with grass left over at the cows and all ready to go. See, I'm going that way. So that when their feed is a little bit low, you just back up and dump a little more in and just use it as a storage bay. But let's get this guy. Now yeah, we're two. So we'll start right here. I'd like to be out far enough that I can tell if something is left behind. Though it's probably more comfortable to see what's going on when you're a little bit closer in. Now, well, 
Six of one, half dozen of the other. We're about in the middle point, so let's just turn that guy off so we can get some speed up. We'll go down to this end. I'm seeing two patches over here. No, those are just pieces of or clumps of grass that were left behind. I guess we get it all cleaned up. So we are not quite a quarter full. <clears throat> to see what one of these runs equals. I guess when it comes down to it, there's not really that much grass here. We're not going to well, we pulled two of these out of here, and there might be another three. Of course, if we hadn't baled the grass, we would have gotten more, but still not enough to fill up a silage bay out of this. I'm, sh I'm hoping we'll hit the 10% the mark. If so, we'll go ahead and turn one on, just so we can uh, see the, uh, the output before uh, too many episodes go by. But later we'll want to fill one up completely and do the whole thing. Now we need to go out that exit. There we go. Cut across here. Yeah, been a long time. Kind of annoying in here because it exaggerates steering by keyboard. You know, steering by keyboard is an all or nothing thing. Whereas the steering wheel, you would see the steering wheel of the tractor just slowly turn a little bit over and hold there. Whereas this one, it's all the way and all the way back. All the way and all the way back. I wish there was a way by keyboard to you know, to do it otherwise. So it's pretty much right about here, and then floor it. So control I, I non-stop flooring it. Where does it run out? That did it. Okay. And let's see. Control I. There it goes. And even though it's kind of inconvenient to try to turn around over here, if I can come back the same bay each time, I'll do a little bit of the compacting. Like, let's do this so we can see the numbers. And soon we're going to see the ability to cover it. Once that happens, we'll know we've hit our 10%. Okay. Otherwise, we'll bring the uh, well, one of the other tractors over. So the heaviest thing you can find, the better, and just drive back and forth over it and get it all smashed down. And we'll do that next time. Now, can I completely pass him in time? I think so. Turn is coming up here. Don't you hate when someone passes you and then they make a, they come to a stop and turn right in front of you? <laughs> but we have enough distance where we're not going to be uh, annoying them. working? There it goes. All these partial rows are going to leave a uh, bunch of little pieces here and there. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's not a lot of grass left. Hopefully there is enough to be able to start the silage or the fermenting process. If not, then maybe next episode we'll do a quick little grass run somewhere else and just try to find some scraps somewhere. There's quite a bit of grass over there at... Let's see. At the top. Seven, by the pigs. Seems like... Uh, this area right here was available to, and or right, this corner right here too, had quite a bit of grass available. So we could do that without having to buy a field. So what's next? Or this little partial row here. Still not going to be enough. So we'll just dive over into this next row and make another partial. Huh, we may actually finish this one. Or we'll leave a tiny little stub at the end, and which will be annoying. No, we're going to get it. I don't think there's any scraps left out over there. I think we cleaned it up pretty good. Did leave a scrap there, though. Remember that one. But at least with something like this, unlike something like the baler, if you don't have a full load, you can still dump it. The baler just hangs on to it. Now, I haven't really looked closely at the, uh, the menu of the baler. There might be a way to eject a partial bale, but I'm not sure. It seems like there is a way with the, uh, the square baler. I don't know if this one will let you... You know, if you can force release it. Coast is clear. I think I'm going to dump this one from the other side. Now eventually it's going to get too full to make a run through there. And you just have to start backing in and dumping it out. It'll get as, almost as tall as these concrete walls. It'll get a little bit awkward after a while. Alright, so control I. There we go. Perfect. Alright, we're getting there. Um, but the next one we'll stop and, and see if it's. Actually, with the next one, we're going to have to compact it the whole way, aren't we? See, control I. There we go. Because it's not going to give us the symbol to uh, uh, cover it until it is 100% compacted. Ah, so there is that. Can this trailer. It can. It can attach to the Manitou. That was the name of it, right? Not the Malibu. Not the. The Caribou. Manitou? That's not it either. What was that one? I forget each time. <laughs> but that one, I think, would compact better than this tractor. Huh. Now, I'm trying to rem remember if that had a PTO takeoff. Could I actually use that to run this thing? Don't remember. But we'll collect it with this one since we're already set up. Go. That's right, there was a speck right there. Let's get that. Whoops, the other way. Right there. 15. Then we'll take it up there and figure what that thing is called and hook that up. 
Bring it over, dump it. Um, if there's no PTO takeoff, can it dump? Okay, that I don't know. Because he uses this yellow shaft right here, that's spinning. And that is uh, powering everything, including what pushes the grass out when you dump it. So it may or may not work. We'll go take a look at the back of that vehicle. This should be the end of the grass. Um, you know, for simplicity's sake, let's leave this out here. Okay. Um, that's right, I was going to look in here. Okay, I don't believe that is a power takeoff. And, although that sure acts like it wants to be right there, like there's a cover for one. Is that what that hole is supposed to be? It doesn't seem like it's drawn right if it is. Let's go find out. Is it just going to tow a trailer, or can it actually power a device? I think this would work better. Well, actually, the big tractor over there would probably work the best. Does it say what the weight is on here? It does not. Whatever has the most weight is what we want. This guy should be pretty heavy down at center to, uh, to be able to support this guy extended all the way out lifting things. So they build these things really heavy. Just like the man lift I used to use to take me four stories in the air to uh, uh, wash windows in that old building. Oh, stop. There we go. No power takeoff. Okay, that answered that. So I don't want to drive it all the way, all the way over there and find out that I can't uh, dump it. So we'll leave this here. But this guy would be quite heavy. Intentionally. So that you can stick that arm way out there and not have uh, everything tip over if you get a big heavy weight on the end of that. But let's pop out of here and go this way. And I guess we'll go grab the uh, Massey Ferguson tractor. That guy's plenty heavy. And let's remember to turn the lights off next time. Otherwise, what of these implements go back with us? Probably this guy does. We'll park him under cover and use him to, uh, to gauge a comparison price. There we go. When we uh, do go to sell uh, loose silage, we'll compare it with that one. But this guy will hop into and use this right now. Otherwise, we're waiting for the, uh, the grass field here to grow again. So I'm assuming this is considered stage one, so it's just two and three left and it's ready. So it's one stage less than it was originally, as far as the time it takes to get uh, new grass going. There we go. So, as you'll see here, it hooks up a power takeoff, the yellow guy. And that's what powers all of the, uh, the motion in there, all the animations. Okay, and this tractor is heavy enough to do some serious compacting. And fast enough to, to spin me on a turn and crash me into a tree. So I gotta be real cautious with this. <laughs> or I can hit the wrong button and fall out completely. I'm trying to hit the, uh, the lights. There you are. <laughs> oh, the adventures of uh, Farmer Rambler. A lot faster ride, though. He can pull hills. Alright, 
coast is clear. If we think of it, we'll take a look at that field I was mentioning over by the pigs. And take one more look at how much grass really is available. Or am I about 45 minutes into this? Yeah, we should be able to do that. This guy, curious to see, uh, F1, how the compacting works compared to what we've what we're used to. This guy should smash it pretty hard. We'll go into about there and take a look. I'm going to be looking at. Uh, well, I don't have to be looking at other things. I can actually just take my time here. But take a look at how it spreads out the uh, the grass as the tractor itself drives over it. Kind of mushes it all. But uh, let me start dumping this guy. And we'll leave most of it here in the middle. It's a smaller load, so it's not going to make it to the end. There we go. And control I. And I'm going to actually set this guy aside. There we go. Now let's go through and compact this stuff and take a look at the uh, at the percentages and as well as watch what's happening on the ground. You see it spreading out a little bit more, mushing around. Twenty-six percent. Push out this side over here now. Oh, I get some speed up with this guy. So actually, it'd be better to go forward each time. Nine miles an hour going backwards, and thirty miles an hour going forward. Everybody nauseous in the, in the turnarounds. Does it compact as well going fast? Looks like it does. So I can do that in cab. There we go. That's a little easier on the uh, on the inner ear. Hoping we're going to see a new option show up soon of uh, being able to cover this or tarp it or something like that. Whoa, there I am. I wonder when that's. I was looking for the the trailer, but it's at the other end. I figured when I saw the trailer, I'd pull out of the out of the turn. So much for that theory. There we go. Now I've got a landmark. Oh, made it. But boy, I hit the brakes and nothing really happened. A lot of weight here. And you don't really get the peripheral vision that you would if you were really sitting in this tractor should be able to see out there and out there. Now, I can change the field of view. I believe that gives me more of a peripheral vision. But when, I, when I've done that in other games, it kind of leaves me a little nauseous. So, I don't know what it is, but it kind of changes the way your brain perceives it. 85 percent. It would help if this box wasn't here in my view. I'm gonna clear that. Yeah. All right, one more pass. Alright, you guys watch up there in the black box. Once it hits 100, we should see a new option pop in. I didn't see the new option pop in. Hmm. Let me turn off the engine. Sometimes that does it. Nope. So we don't have 10% in here. Alright, we're not going to be able to, to silage this one yet, or ferment this one just yet. But I have to get more. 
So, that one. And... I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave the loading wagon there. So we've got a little more flexibility. Let's drive this over to the pig pen area. And look at... I think it was field 7. See just what that looks like. Car? No. Tree. You can try to cut the grass up in areas like this, but there's not a lot of flat... Well, this is, this is a little better right here. But a lot of hills and a lot of trees and signs and things make that a little more difficult. But I'm thinking over here. Got this area to chew up. Then I think there's a triangle on the other side. I was thinking about buying this one and, and grass this one out because there's so much extra grass alongside of it but we hadn't made that much progress with that farmer yet, so it was going to cost us a lot more. And the, uh, the one we did buy, Field 11, had that, uh, that L shape to it, so there was a big chunk of it. Now this triangle's full of trees. That's right, I was going to cut all the trees down to make a triangle out of it. But we don't own the field, so it doesn't feel right to come over here and cut his trees down. But maybe he'll be nice and let us cut his grass. I'll take that little swath out there out. Otherwise, um, I guess we'll go back this way. Pass by this area. And I guess next time I'll put up a pole to decide what we're going to do next. Meanwhile, either I will be working on uh, our own field the next time, another round of fertilizer, or if that doesn't show up, then I guess I'll be contracting, plowing fields, trying to earn some money so we can afford to do whatever the options are in the pool. But I'm thinking we'll choose between logging or buying either pigs or cattle or... I don't know what. We'll see. Depends on how much money is available between now and then. Otherwise, I'll get time advancing again to get up to five speed and and see, let's go give this guy a bath. There we are. And uh, let night go by. Last time night went by, I was going to stop and, rec and do a little snippet of a recording, but I didn't because it. Uh, let's see F. It uh, cost about $7,000 for the maintenance fees right here. So I was going to show that, but I ended up not doing it. But it's about $7,000 a day. And I consider a day to be like a month in real time. Three months would, uh, would mature a crop. So a day is a month here. Yeah, that's looking better. So $7,000 a month in maintenance fees for the equipment. That's how it compares in this game. Anyway, I think that's enough for this episode. Kind of got accomplished what we needed to. And we'll come back, we'll figure out what we're doing next. So thanks for watching, guys. I'd appreciate it if you hit the like down there and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.